when you do a load of talking. Get out, I'll get right and try through yeah. it. Well, we're here again. Yeah. Thanks a lot, mate. Thanks no, for coming. No worries at all. This. No worries so at all. I remember watching you box on the Chris Eubanks Carl Thompson too. Yeah. Undercard. Yeah. I think it were Kelly yeah. Oliver. Yeah. Yeah, but it was the second time I boxed him that. Yeah. And boxed him about twelve months before at short notice. And uh he, he, he stopped me. I run out of steam. Yeah. I haven't been training yeah. at all. Just basic training and yeah. it was for WBO yeah. Intercontinental. But yeah. I weren't one to turn the fight down so yeah. I just took it like yeah. that one that you watched me in were like twelve months after yeah. and I've been training. Right. So <laughs> Did you did you in your career then were you, was looking back were you a little bit in and out at gym when you yeah. should you were out at gym when you should have been at gym do you, do you think yeah a little bit or I, not? I, I, were, I were a consistent trainer but like i didn't have that i didn't i never did that like championship thing like they do now um i train like more or less every night because i enjoyed it yeah you know what i mean they, they weren't very many times where i'd like have long spells off it. I'd keep, I'd, I'd keep training, but um, <clears throat> I, I wanted money. I wanted the fights, yeah. so I, I'd been there. I'd be in gym, and I'd, I'd fight one week, and then I'd be straight game Brendan here. Yeah, what? Well, get me another fight. Yeah, get me another, I'd, get me another fight, Brendan. I, I'm doing my best. You know what I mean? It, yeah. You know, have you been running? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It is. So, so that so let's go to let's go to Brett. So obviously, Eagles Gym, which is world famous, it were known then, but now it's yeah since since your era, uh, obviously. Well, I, I'm changed. from other side of town, re yeah. really. Like I'm yeah. from like Woodhouse. Yeah. And um, when I when I were at school, like um, like mid middle school. Um, I got interested in boxing and there were a, a gym called Richmond ABC yeah. which were relatively close to us and um, that, that it was like a it was like a, a dog up yeah. that's a, that's what it was it stung proper dungeon yeah proper dungeon it was on uh, it was just on edge of Woodthorpe yeah. uh, which is n near us like and I asked I asked mum and dad if I could go boxing and they flat re flat refused like he said, you're not boxing, there's no way you're boxing. Yeah. So there was a kid at school called Jimmy Simpson, um, and he used to go, he used to talk to me all the time about it. And there were a, there were a famous boxer from Woodhouse at the time uh, called Eddie Lax, mm -hmm. and his, his grandson were in my class. And everybody flocked round this Kevin Lax like all the time, asking me about boxing and blah, 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 and I thought, no, I, I want to do this. this. This is what I want to do. Yeah. I want to box. So I used to sneak out. Like I went allowed off our road, and I used to sneak out and try and get to this gym. So how old were you? What do you think? Oh, it would be second year at middle school. So I don't know how old that would be. Twelve. Yeah, 12, 12, eleven or twelve, something, something. And um, <clears throat> I'd, I'd sneak out. And then I'd go on fields and run up fields and then yeah. like I'd have to cross certain roads yeah. uh, and I'd save my pocket money and I'd get to this gym with yeah. this Jimmy Simpson like and anyway my dad caught me one day what a bleeding hell are you doing up here yeah. get in this you know what I mean yeah, so, yeah. Like, oh, I was boxing yeah. we told you you're not boxing blah 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 so they wanted me to do cricket or so, stuff like so that I know I'm butting in here so no with your, pa your parents were they athletic or not? No, well, well my dad was a good cross country runner. I mean, no, no, not all. There's no, uh, there's no sports people. Yeah, because really like family. sometimes it, uh, and nowadays it seems yeah. that they push that, don't they? With yeah. kids now, it's all this and yeah. back like in your day, and my day, because I'm yeah. the same as you. It was more. Oh no no no! Do you yeah. know what I mean? So they and they push you away from things. Me, like that. My granddad always used to tell us stories. Like I was saying, is it? Does anybody went into boxing or, yeah. or or any sports in our family? Say now he says, but nobody could uh, beat the Uncle Bill over a mile and a half. Right. 
And I'd say, right, oh. right, really, Grandad? And yeah. he'd say, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he wound me up for ages yeah. and he'd say, nobody could beat him over a mile and a half. Yeah. I says, well, is it in any record books and that? He says, oh, it's in record books. And I'd say, well, I'm, like, how many times did he do it? He says, oh, he only did it once. So I says, all right. I says, well, well, it never yeah, fell down and paid shaft. <laughs> So I thought you were going to say coppers with cheers. Filled out pitch shaft, nobody could beat him or a mile and a half. Like, don't you do it once? <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? That was, ah, right. ah, that was quick. So yeah, but like you say, he's probably because I'm a bit, I'm a big believer of genetics. Yeah, you pass things on, so yeah. But I think, like you say, now <clears> social media, everything else, everybody's got all these pictures, whoops, pictures all over and stuff, and you, yeah. can, you can look back, whereas now, I, I did, there were no other. There were nothing. People, nothing there was nothing like this, people no. weren't talking about stuff, and no. this, that, and other. First thing I got were like a little mention in Star. Yeah. You know, yeah. Went, went, went around properly, amateur. So, so you went to this gym and then. Yeah, and then I, when I went to like last school, um, whatever you call it, like um, senior yeah. school, yeah. I, I from from day one, I were mates with a kid called Tommy Bradley, and we were inseparable. Me and Tommy, and he says, "Oh, my brother's a boxer." I go, "I love boxing. I love it." Yeah. And that was Nigel Bradley. Yeah. Uh, it, they were both pro, Tom and Nigel. Yeah. Because uh, Nigel went Nigel down at Ingalls. Yeah, it? Nigel yeah. down at Ingalls. Yeah. So Thomas says we'll have to go. So I'm like, "Oh, I'm just going to start again with mum and dad." Like, yeah. And um, anyway, I just thought I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. So instead of knocking about, I I started down at Ingalls again, and it caused problems with mum and dad again because they had a milk round, where they had two milk rounds, and I had to work on milk rounds, and um, it co it was causing problems because I weren't getting home to do the collecting, yeah. collecting money, because I was still on bus. Because I used to catch two buses off to yeah. Meadowall weren't there then. Yeah. Uh, Cause because banks are there, yeah, 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 from yeah. Woodhouse I had yeah. to catch a bus into town and catch a bus from Pond Street up to um up up, up to Winkerbank. Yeah. So it was causing problems yeah. again. Yeah. I'm sick of this, blah, blah, blah I've told you not boxing. Yeah. yeah. So but well, that's what I tell kids nowadays, yeah. with the parents bringing them in mm. and saying I want him to box. I want him to do this. Yeah. The only way I've got, I've got to tell. I said, if you don't want to do it, yeah, you don't want to do it. No, you've got you know to, what I mean. You've got, you've got to like want it. to do it. Yeah, you've got to get there on your own. You've got to come on your own. Yeah, uh, uh, the kid's got to come on his own and want to do it. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. the only way they'll progress. Yeah. So. So 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 you went. So this this other gym were local, and then then you eventually went to Ingalls. That's it. I went to Ingalls, yeah. and then. Obviously, I was travelling there on bus. It caused a load of problems. Yeah. So, as I were getting better and better, it was when Naz and Ryan were only young kids, yeah. and they hadn't really done out yet. Yeah. I think it when Errol Graham were boxing, like uh, when he boxed um, Mark uh, McCall Mark McCallum. Yeah. Uh, Ryan. So can you right? So I know it's going back about. So can you remember then? Because obviously we're going to talk a lot about Brendan Ingle because Brendan yeah. Ingle's part of boxing for yeah. or into. Uh, so can you remember the first time? So you went maybe not first time you went to the gym, but can you remember the first time you met Brendan? Yeah, definitely, what, what, definitely. Was, was it, definitely. Like, I talked to Glenn yeah. on a podcast, yeah. and he says straight away I just knew. It was I, different. I can remember meeting Glenn for the first time. I can remember walking in gym and all hairs on the back of my neck stood up and I was just absolutely in awe uh, like that's Pam Graham. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and then uh, I used to think Brendan I used to think he he were, he were Mickey off a rocket. Yeah yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just used to that little bit of bad yeah, money. Yeah. I, I just used to like, oh my God. Yeah. That that that's Brendan Ingle. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Him, yeah. 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 And they're all, and then Johnny, Johnny, was just coming through then, probably yeah. a may have boxed for Central Area or he'd just yeah. turned pro. Yeah. And I used to think he would, like, look at him and think, Jesus Christ, yeah. you know what I mean? Look, yeah. at, look oh, at the yeah. size of them, yeah. you know what I mean? So, what, can you remember what time, at what age? So, you're still 12, 13 then at this point? Nah, no, probably, I'm probably 14 Teenager. year old then. Yeah. Um, just maturing. Yeah, just come, coming through, like. Yeah. And then it wasn't till I 
passed my driving test yeah. that it made me and Nigel Bradley used to talk a lot all the time. He, he did a bit of prison. Yeah. And when he come out, he says, I'd started doing a bit of kickboxing yeah. at Woodhouse. Yeah. And like, I was just walking through people, uh, really. Yeah. And um, Saw some he said, he said you, need to, you need to get that back down to Brendan's. Yeah. And so I did, and that was it, and I never left. Yeah. And so, so, so then, so obviously years that you were down Ingalls then. So obviously you went in there, raw amateur. So obviously at that time that gym were getting bigger. So were Brendan taking doing a lot of training with from day one. Do you think did he uh, teach, did Brendan teach you basics or not? Yeah, it 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 like I know he taught a lot at once, but obviously did he? You know what I mean? Did boxing, he boxing? Boxing. What I find out is is self motivation. Yeah. So. Like Brendan would say, uh, yeah, you know, watch the other fighters, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do your fuck work, you yeah. know what I mean? So were you a big advocate? And it was like Cust with Custom Auto is with Tyson, where you made him watch all old videos, old fighters, where he, where he telling you this, watch him, watch him. He just said, watch the other fighters, watch his, look at how he's moving in yeah. ring, look at, yeah. and that's the best way of learning, yeah. you know. Because yeah, well, um, he, he were a big advocate of footwork, weren't he? That's right, yeah. yeah. So but we, if your we, feet aren't right, yeah. nothing's right. No. And um, Brendan, it say like, watch the best, you know, the 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 best fighters. You got to watch them, and you pick moves up up off them. Yeah. Change change the shape of your body. Yeah. You know how, how they were. How they were. Yeah. I found it hard to relax. Yeah. yeah. I found I found it. Brendan used to say to me all the time, relax. You got to relax. Yeah. You know, because I was really stiff. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, but because I never ever got that. No matter how much I tried, I could never ever get that elusiveness that, you know. Well, which is was the Ingle style, weren't it? That's right. Because if you look at your style, yeah, with me watching you, yeah, there's there's not much of that, is there? No. So, but obviously it worked for you. Yeah. But that's interesting. Cause so early did did he try and bring that a little bit into your style? He, tra he tried. He, he tried his best. Like oh, yeah. he, he used to, uh, <laughs> yeah. used to get kids hitting you everywhere. I just used to. Shoot my tech eyes and take him on. Yeah, 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 and he's like, <laughs> but, "What are you taking the yeah. shots?" For? And he'd take us like round uh, working men's clubs and stuff, and yeah. and we'd do exhibitions and yeah. and like everybody else, like Ryan Rhodes, you couldn't hit him with an handful of rice. Yeah, you know, young Ryan, yeah. the, the, like Nas. Yeah, nice. Everybody, they, they won't get hit. They yeah. were they were a guy called Hassan Ali. Uh, he's dead now. Um, he got he, he got run over, bless him. Oh, yeah. But you couldn't you couldn't literally you could yeah. not hit him. No. He was absolutely never fought. He no. didn't want to fight because yeah, yeah. he ain't got that side to him. Yeah. And I I just couldn't do it. He was around his working men's club like you get a big beat up bloke like and he'd be swinging and he'd be <laughs> yeah. catching me. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I'd be blocking blocking. Yeah. And, yeah. and I'd be like, move, don't let him hit you. And I'd yeah. be like, yeah, right. So, <laughs> yeah, you like you say you. Were, well, so, so that was style. So, but like, say, we're, we're talk, let's talk about fighters that come from Brendan. Like, say, you got Junior Witter with that style, weren't he? Moving. Yeah. Uh, you got uh, Naz Ryan, Naz. Junior Witter, yeah. um, um, Johnny, John, Johnny, um, Errol Graham. Uh, Errol, Errol, Errol yeah. a lot of people say Errol brought that yeah. style to Ingle yeah. Gym, but yeah. there were a lot, there were a lot of fighters who had a similar. Um, a, a, a similar style that, that Brendan Ingalls wear. Yeah. Before it depends on who you talk to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Walter Clayton and yeah. um, people like that. I think I think like for instance the I know like Dominic's training like Billy Joe Saunders now. Yeah. And he has got a bit of that ante. Yeah. A bit of that elusiveness. That's right. Which yeah. which probably fits nice. I can imagine even though uh, Dominic's doing a good job with him. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. I can imagine he would have fit in nice yeah. with Brendan, wouldn't it? I don't know if he's moved again, right. Billy. Right. But yeah, yeah, it would yeah. have. It yeah. would have that 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 style. There were some neat, clever boxers like. Um, uh, he, 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 a little bit like that. I don't know if you had a lot to do with that. Still, Paul Silky but Jones. Paul, he, he yeah, Paul like that, right? Yeah, yeah. He went. He went across to Ireland, didn't he? Yeah. To train. He left but Brendan's. But were he with Brendan though earlier? Yeah, 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 yeah. He were. Yeah. They they all had that. It's like Neville Brown, that yeah. really tidy, um, the bib and braces boxing, be yeah. beautiful fighters, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, and then you brought mould, didn't you? That's it. That's it. <laughs> you come in like yeah, throw walking back. on to shots. Throw I bet you, I bet you was going mad, didn't you? 
No, it didn't, it didn't. It didn't because and, then he realised yeah. that that's what you did, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, he was called me Marciano. He says, right. like, Marciano. Yeah. And that's what, like when I used to spar with Johnny, he just yeah. used to send me at him. Yeah. You know, yeah, because you well, knew you weren't going to back off. It you? never really bothered me. I know it's silly, yeah. stupid to say, yeah. and I don't recommend it. No. But it never bothered me getting hit. Yeah. If I could stand up, if I could still be on my feet, yeah. I didn't care about getting hit. No. You know what I mean? It didn't, never, I wouldn't, like people say, oh, it hurts, it hurts. Yeah. But I never thought it hurt. No. See, I've got that fear thing. It always bothers me yeah. about getting hit. You know what I mean? So yeah. if, if you've either got that or you haven't yeah. in your head and you obviously... It, well, that's that. I, like, I suffer a lot with, like, an anxiety. Yeah. Exactly. And that's the thing yeah. uh, where I want... I, in my head, I want to attack. Yeah. I don't... I don't want to yeah. uh, back off and say, what's he doing or... Yeah. And I want to attack straight away. Mm. And it's a... It's a it's just a natural it's a instinct, weird thing. Isn't it? It's a it's horrible. Yeah, it really is horrible. But but like we talked about this off camera earlier, uh, and we obviously I've been asked if we could talk about this. So yeah. you you said to me that you feel that you have always had that. Yeah. But have you finished after you create? It's got a little bit more yeah, it's intense. Got, it's got more intense. So you yeah, find, I don't like going in, no. like going into places where I could be put in a position. Yeah. Where I'd have to do that because. Yeah. I just think all the, um, you know, aftermath or of me doing that could be, you yeah. know, it could be bad. Yeah. So, so do you think? Um, obviously, it's got it's got worse since. So do you think that, like, say, you stop yourself doing stuff because you don't? Do you? But do you always think the worst though? Do you know it's like? I always instance, think worse. So if you go somewhere, let's yeah. say, I mean, you would say, oh, let's let's yeah. go out tonight. Yeah. If we sat, we walked in somewhere, even yeah. though there weren't going to be no ass on. Yeah. Are you looking and thinking, oh, this, oh, this yeah. kid over here, is this going to happen? I check everybody out, oh, yeah. and I think, I, I'm not standing here. No. I'm not standing here. Or, Even though there's not really happening yeah. to, to, to make like, you feel like that. It's like when I went downstairs just, just now yeah. um, for, for a coffee. Yeah. You know, I, I get into a room and I think, uh, what what could happen here? Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's it's horrible. Yeah. There's more more do's I, I, I would have enjoyed and yeah. gone to and, and yeah. the anxiety stops stops me doing that. Yeah, because it's stops a shame me because obviously you've you've I mean you did you did very well. I mean I mean you did Commonwealth, didn't you? And then no, I boxed for Commonwealth a lot of right, times, yeah. but I never yeah, won. I mean Commonwealth. I mean look at Prize Fighter. Yeah. I mean you was I mean you, you that were great stoppage in uh, semi final weren't yeah. you? And then you uh, you yeah. lost on points in the final. I lost to Oval in yeah. it, 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 I, 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 that that Bruce Scott fight, the first fight, yeah. that um, I watched that other night. Yeah, that um, that took it out of me. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was I was shocked basically. Well, well, look at your eye. I remember. Yeah. I remember it was broken. Because, yeah, I, I saw, yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw, and the Bruce Scott fight, and you were stood yeah. there like this, and your yeah. eye were up, and I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? I'm thinking, no yeah. wonder. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. it will look who you boxed in yeah. before, weren't it? Yeah. You could have boxed somebody who marked you up, and then, because my brother yeah. used to box at amateur, yeah. and he used to box down in London. He used to he used to have three or four fights in one day, yeah. and then guys used to get cut, and he used yeah. to say he used to get to the final with another guy, and he was yeah. decent. He yeah. used to lose because yeah. he got he opened the That's court. it before. Yeah. And that's uh, well, I I got no intentions of giving up ever. Like no, no. no matter what, I mean. Yeah. Um, uh, Dominic, Dominic and um, and and John were were perhaps concerned after that. Yeah. Bruce Scott fight yeah. and 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 said, "Do you wanna yeah. do you wanna leave it?" You yeah. know what I mean. Did you did you watch once more after Prize Fighter? Or did no, you, I didn't. I didn't watch after. after that? Yeah, that, that, that was it. Right. I I I broke my hand in that as well. Oh, did you? Uh, I uh, fractured my eye socket. Right. Um, I couldn't feel my face for. Probably six months after that. Yeah, that's serious. Uh, but I probably I realised during that far d during that time. I mean, Dominic were concerned, yeah. but I hid a lot from Dominic and whoever were there. But during the, the fights after, I weren't there. Yeah, I were like coming in and out of like a dream, yeah. like yeah. thing. Which is serious, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't. Us. I didn't even. I didn't even realise what... Neurological, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I got checked out of everything. Right. Brent, uh, Dominic, I can remember, he kept saying, are you all right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's going, Key, I'll pull you out. Yeah. And I'm going, I don't, don't. I'm fine, I'm yeah. fine. Yeah. But, and then I kept getting that, um, like this intense 
feeling and not knowing who I was or not knowing where I were. What, in the fight or No, after? afterwards, well, right. after that Bruce Scott fight, when I was sat in changing rooms, yeah. I was sat with a towel around me and I can remember Kid Gallard, yeah. he got an ice pack on my eye. Um, and he's boxing tonight, isn't he, Kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, all the best. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I didn't... I, I was going in and out of this thing where I, I didn't know perhaps where I was yeah. or what I was doing there. Yeah. And, like, Dominic would come... Con like concern, but yeah. I, I were like because it kept coming and going. Yeah. It was fat like I, yeah. I was convincing. Yeah. So don't I'm just tired. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah. Thinking what's hap what's happening, yeah. and then I was lucky to beat Dean Francis in second round, knocked him out in first round, yeah. which gave me a long. Yeah. And then I felt I felt okay then. I um, mean, he was he was went he five to one on. Dean Francis, because right. I looked, because I watched yeah. it the other night, and it gave you odds, yeah. and he was like completely. Everybody thought he wouldn't yeah. beat you, didn't you? And yeah. you smashed him to bits, yeah. to be honest, didn't you? He was phenomenal talent, yeah. exceptional. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he's died now, yeah. sadly. Died. Has he? Yeah, he died of liver cancer. Oh, sure. Yeah, same year of Brendan. Um, right. No, I didn't um, know. Yeah. That. But That's like it. you say, you, you were all against the odds, that weren't it? All against the odds. Yeah, because everybody thought Bruce Scott do what he'd done to me yeah. before. Yeah. And uh, to be honest, like when I put Bruce down that first round, uh, like I, I saw his legs go and I like leant on him and pushed him. Yeah. And then when he got up, you know, the, the shots were hit him, he, he can punch so hard. Yeah. Um, and like, I, like when I got through it on my feet, I thought, yeah. that's it, I've done it. Yeah. And I, obviously I did. I never expected to beat Dean. Yeah. To beat Dean. Yeah, yeah. And then we Oval. Underdog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it sort of, the, the, the fight with Oval, I sort of, I didn't run out of steam at all. I just, I don't know. Just it was yeah. just like, it was just too different. It, yeah. was, it was too quick. It weren't, yeah. you know, I think if I'd have got somebody else who were a, a genuine cruiserweight, because yeah. Oval were a lot lighter, a lot faster. Yeah, quick. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the use that it were grabbing, tying yeah. me out, yeah. and then speed of punches, probably just you know ended it for me. Yeah. So so, obviously now we're in two thousand and twenty. Uh, can you remember what year you retired? Two thousand and nine. Right. Yeah. So, so that's like eleven eleven years mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. It was May nineteen yeah. two thousand and nine. So eleven that, years that, ago. That, that was prize fight. I'm shy at maths. Yeah. Right. So so let's now to then. Do you think, and you could say, I mean, I hear this all the time on Twitter and YouTube, yeah. they, they match somebody from 40 years ago with somebody now, right? Yeah. Do you think, though, because things have changed, do you think you, do you look now and think, oh, we should have come now? What do you think now? Do you know to what's out there now, or do you think... I won't, I won't, ch I won't change it, no, because... No, I know you're around Brendan, that I, I standard think, of fighters I'm on about. I, I think now, nowadays... You think it is, better? It, 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 yeah, but I won't want to. No. If you know what I mean. Yeah, because, because you won't want to miss all that with Brendan that's, and all that. That's right. I won't I, I mean I won't want to miss the 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 era of what, what I were in. Yeah, you were you know, in when glory, you look back yeah. at when you look back at the uh, the fighters who were in top ten in Britain, I mean you can look now yeah. and these kids like had two or three fights or yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're not really no, you know, when I, you yeah. watch them you don't no. There's yeah. no yeah, you so we're not mean? disrespecting them. Yeah. Because it's yeah. Oh, no, game. there's no, no, no. disrespect. But, but, but that's, that's what I'm saying. That's, it. It's, that's, what, I'm yeah. saying. that's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. When I look at you, as you were, yeah. and I look at some of these now, I think, yeah. God, yeah. you know what I mean? I think, you'd have, I think you'd have been yeah. world title fighting yeah. and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. You'd have been up in mix now. Yeah. I think... Definite. You'd, you'd have had a world title shot, I yeah. think. You yeah. know what I mean? And, uh, and I, think, I think you were hard to make fights then, though. It was, yeah. it was. I mean, uh, like I, like I said, I used to be on Brendan's bike, yeah. constantly for money. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'd take any yeah. fight. Yeah. My fourth fight, yeah. uh, we're against a guy called Julius Francis. Yeah, yeah. And he, he box, boxed he box, he boxed Mike Tyson. Yeah, I went to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah in Manchester. Well, Julius and, and Brendan said to me, I've got you for you the weekend. <laughs> uh, you, you do a good you, Brendan impression, <laughs> by the way. He'd be like, you, you, you'll be on a grand. And I'd be like, a grand? Uh, don't tell nobody you're on a grand. You're gonna pick up a grand's worth of damage, and I'll be like, <laughs> "Have you been running?" 
and I'll be like, yeah, yeah, Brent, I sound that. Yeah. I'll have it. I'll be up at four every morning yeah, with my eggs. I know, the fella's yeah. a heavyweight. And I'll be like, all right, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. And he goes, he's a big fella, you'll, you'll just run rings r- run rings around him, keep moving. Mm. And like we got down, to, I still didn't know where it were. When we got down to your no court. Footage. No. no, God, no. No. Julius Francis, when, when, when we got to your call, yeah. you're boxing Julius, and I'd be like, Ray, yeah, who's right. this Julius? Yeah. Like, first time I saw him was when we got to ring with Dominic King, and I was like, yeah. I was like about 12 and a half. 12, 12, 12, yeah. I don't know when he friends. Six, six foot three, yeah. six foot four. What, you five nine? No, I were, I were six, I'm six foot oh, like, I but I was like 12, 12, and, 12 and a half stone. Yeah. And he was like 16 and a half, 17 That's stone. Serious, isn't it? And, it, and, and I got through it and he, yeah. he beat me on points. Yeah, yeah. Frank Maloney, he was banging his hands on, you know, knock him out. Yeah. I said, we're close. Yeah, yeah. I, if you watch fight, yeah. everybody, everybody who sees fight thinks I won the fight. Yeah, I've never seen that. So, I see that. Yeah, it, it, it went on teller. Yeah. But it, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's everything now is your yeah. job to be yeah. here, wasn't it? Even I even had. Um, Denny, I can remember that fight, and Dennis Andrews came up oh, to yeah. me. You were a good anyway. fight, weren't it? You need to look at your management. Yeah. And I went, yeah. I've been pestering my manager yeah. for the fight. He says, there is a fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like, I won't, I won't turn the fight down. No, no. no. For grand, back then, I yeah. was like, Jesus. Which you know? were, we, uh, it were a lot more oh, money God. than we were, yeah. Un, unreal. Yeah. That, uh, a grand back then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Money, Serious. Yeah, I mean, he went. I went to that fight when he fought Tyson, and yeah. uh, I mean, Tyson were coming to end, but he yeah. still he did all right for a few rounds, didn't he? Well, yeah, well uh, he had he made his money, didn't he? he had Daily Mirror on soldier his feet, can oh, you remember? Yeah, 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 I can remember he did that. Yeah. So like, I mean, yeah. So let's talk about. So obviously, you were around Brendan a lot. Um, have you got a I don't know. I mean, everybody talks about Brendan. Something that sticks. What, what you'll never forget but, about Brendan. You well, just you know, that you had that bit of a moment when you thought. I'll I, never o- I always had. I always wanted to be noticed by Brendan. Yeah. So the thing with Brendan is, well, like when we're amateurs, you got a license. You got a. Can you drive? I'd be like, yeah, Brent. Yeah. If you got a car, have you? Like, yeah. And saying, what What are you doing tonight? So you'd be like thinking, I want to. No, Brendan. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'd think, well, I don't want to tell him I'm going to booze at yeah. all. Yeah. So I said, no, Brendan. He said, do us a favour, will you? Will you take us up to Leeds? And yeah. be like, yeah. right, all right. So, like, you'd, you'd, you'd talk yourself into a situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it weren't for a few years till you knew. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What are you doing tonight, Keto? Because yeah. he was called me Keto, oh, right. and yeah. not Buster. Yeah. He'd call me Keto. Yeah. And, uh, he, and I'd say, oh, uh, I've got a family meal, no problem. So I'd go up to another kid and he'd say, have you got a car, have you? And he'd be like, yeah, I've got a car. And I'd think, yeah, you don't know what's coming. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He'd take me to Halifax to a, <laughs> you know what I mean? Didn't he drive then, Brendan? Yeah, he drove, yeah, but, but just, what, what's the yeah. point? You know yeah, what I mean? Get yeah. somebody to, yeah. you know. They, they, it were royalty, yeah, though, boxing royalty. Yeah, then, weren't it? so it was fun. And you picked up some great experiences. It's like yeah. one time, um, Naz were boxing on a, Bill in Cardiff, yeah. a massive bill. Yeah. And um Brendan He went when he boxed uh, for Earl, mm, didn't he? He, he boxed Peter Buckler. Right. I'm sure it yeah. Right. Either I Peter think, Buckler I'm or somebody. Another one, uh, yeah. were a big one, weren't he, after that? It, it might have been somebody else, but right. it were it were it were early on. Right, okay. Um and it it were very early on, he hadn't even won European or like that. And um he says to me, um Brendan says to me, "I've got your fight on, on the Na- uh, on Naz's, with the Naz fella." Yeah. So I'm like, "Oh, brilliant, brilliant!" Yeah. So I said, "So it goes uh, fifteen hundred quid against the, uh, yeah, against the uh, the Crawford Ashley fella." Oh, I so I'm like, Clinton boxed him, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, Crawford Ashley at, at that time, I, I used to think, Jesus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Crawford has to yeah. be dangerous. In his prime then. Dangerous yeah. fire. Yeah. So I went, uh, all right, Bren, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll take it. And I, I Crawford Ashley. Yeah. So anyway, obviously, obviously I thought, he's wet. He's, I, I'm out of my depth here. Oh. But I thought, well, I'll get, get yeah. my best shot. Yeah. 
So I says, we're meeting at the weekend. Uh, so I, I got a chance to work at weekend, like a bit of like, extra yeah. money. Like. Yeah. So um says, we're meeting at the... Uh, we're going, going down Friday Friday on the train to Cardiff. So I'm like, all right, Bren. So me, Naz and Brendan went all the way down yeah. to Cardiff on yeah. train. Brendan telling stories all the time. Yeah. Fascinating. Naz, in, Naz doing what Naz, yeah. all an, a, animated. Yeah. Couldn't wait. Gets to this hotel. Just everybody there. Colin Hart. Yeah. All, I'm all, like, yeah. Like, or get boxing press. Right yeah, to. everybody. Um, Dennis Andrews, Crawford Ashley, Frank Warren, uh, uh, like you name it all. But yeah. I'm like at me, yeah. looking looking around at everybody. Yeah. Gets in the lift with Colin Hart, me me and Naz. Yeah. Naz is like telling Colin Hart what I've only seen in paper or on yeah. TV. Yeah. And Naz is talking to Colin Hart like Colin Hart, some like kid off the street. <laughs> Saying, listen. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine Naz. He's really like, cool. listen, Colin. Yeah. I'm gonna be world champion. Yeah. And like Colin, Colin Hart was try, trying to butt in and saying, yeah. and he's saying, you, you just be quiet. I'll tell you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. yeah. And anyway, as it comes to it, yeah. Dirt Wayne comes. I say, Brent, Brendan, my Wayne is. Come over here, will you? So I'm like, what's up, Brendan? He goes, don't get the face on. So I'm like, why? What's up? And he goes, uh, the, the boxing board won't let you box. So I went, why? I've, I've got my medical, I've got everything. The, 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 the Crawford fella's too, too experienced for you. Yeah. They won't let it go on. So I went, oh, I can't believe, do I still get paid? And he, he was laughing his head off. He yeah. goes, no, you don't get paid. I says, can I box anybody else? He went, no, no, just... So I was like, yeah. down it done, so that was it. And at night, he put me in a hotel room with Naz. Right. So Naz is up to early hours. Uh, he's saying, keep an eye on the Naz fella. Don't let him do nothing stupid. <laughs> so I was like, right. So, so he's well, like... Were, were Naz, were Naz one of them who didn't sleep? Oh, he do, do, what he, do what he wanted. He okay. didn't never slept. He was phoning for ice cream on room service. Yeah. And I'm like, Naz, you can't have that. He's yeah. going, shut up. Yeah. He's oh, like, with chocolate ice cream and chocolate. And I'm like, Naz... Yeah. I've got a thing. And is this after he'd weighed in then? So yeah, just like put yeah, it, yeah, after he'd weighed in yeah, and, and yeah, that. So yeah. I'm like, oh my God, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like thinking, oh. Great item. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, as it comes to it, Naz destroys his opponent. Yeah. I, I forget who it was. It kind of been Peter Buckley because I think Peter took him to points right. and then he got a controversial stoppage. So I don't know it were to to be fair, but anyway, won and everything, blah blah blah. Yeah. Uh, Crawford boxed Dennis Andrews. Yeah. Crawford lost, um, and we're on his way home. Yeah. So we're on way home. So I'm like, I'm gutted, Bren. He says, Why are you gutted? So I says, I'm gutted that I didn't box. He went, I can understand that. Yeah. I says, and I and I, and I didn't get paid. He yeah. says, Yeah. He says, I can understand that as well. Yeah. So I says, I just can't. Um, he says, have you enjoyed it though? I says, yeah, I've enjoyed it. Yeah. He says, have you had a good experience? So I says, yeah, I've had a good experience. He says, well, you can't buy that. So I says, no, you can't buy that. I says, I just got a the boxing board, didn't tell you mm. before we came that I wouldn't have been able to box. Go for this. He went, come over here. He went, don't get the face on, he says. He told me last week that you couldn't box. I went, you yeah, what? Uh, I went, are you joking, bro? He went, no, I'm not joking. So I went, well, why didn't you tell me? He says, who do you think I was going to have babysit the Nas fella? Uh, <laughs> right. So yeah. I'd been down for... You ought to said, oh, well, it's another yeah, thing. Yeah. Like me grab well, yeah, where's me? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that it did stuff like that all the time. Yeah. And if he'd have said to me, if Brendan had said, right, come down to Cardiff, yeah. You stop with Naz in room and blow it. I said, not nah, now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. I'm not doing that. No. But I learned a lot. Yeah. I learned yeah, because so you were much. around it. Yeah, you? that's it's it. Just, I'm yeah. around. Yeah. So he used that angle yeah. to get me there yeah. and well, for his own purpose. But didn't and, and you like, box Crawford, actually? No, no I never so. boxed. Never boxed. Never boxed them. Oh, okay. Now I boxed, um, I boxed Nicky Piper. Oh yeah. Who boxed Crawford Ashley? Yeah, because he was. Do you know Nicky Piper? I liked him as a pundit. Nicky Piper. He was on Sky for a while, weren't he? I, d- I did, I did, yeah. I did like him, but yeah. 
to be honest, uh, with Nicky Piper, I think he thought he were better than what right. he, well, he what was. he were probably a clever, yeah. he were a very were, clever yeah. blow, yeah, were. very clever blow. Yeah. I, I, it were immense weren't he? Yeah. I IQ. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I'm no mental candidate, <laughs> but I uh, I gave him a good good yeah. fight, and he uh, I'd, I'd worked that day. Yeah. I worked. I can remember where I were. I was working on um, just at, at Gleadless uh, uh, near Gleadless Town End. Oh yeah. Um, I, I was working there near a pub called Centre Spot Pub. Oh, Centre Spot. Yeah. yeah, and I was working there, and uh, I, Brendan said. You know, do you want this fight with Nicky? Yeah, Nicky with Nicky Piper. Piper. Yeah. So I was like, um, yeah, I'll, t- I'll I'll take it. When is it, Bren? Next week. You know, and <laughs> no, it's tonight. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> Ray, I says, where is it? So he was like, <laughs> it's in Cardiff, and I was at work. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking, I mean, that's amazing, though. So yeah. I phoned Gaffer like, says, uh, ah, get you sent off like. I think it was about <laughs> what about. Uh, must have been in the afternoon, one yeah. o'clock, something like that. Straight he says, down, yeah. I've got Chris Saunders. Yeah. Uh, he says, he's going to meet you at the gym. So I met Chris Saunders at the gym. Yeah. And we both, me and Chris Saunders, drove down so there. So they, they were down there, were Yeah, they, they were already yeah. down there. And then... Um, <laughs> and you are like, yeah. pegging it down to... Got down it. there. Yeah. Like, there were no mobile phones out, so no. we didn't know, no. No, no. So, runs into Arena... Like looking for Brendan, punches towards thinking they they're putting me boots on. Brendan's wrapping my hands up. I've just got out of the car, not even stretched yeah. off at all. So and somebody, somebody has somebody at last minute pulled out with Nicky Piper there. Uh, yeah, I think that's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Jeez. So it when Leon's a bit, oh no, it went no. Spaz just yeah, don't know your work. Forget boots, who, uh, um, I think that's when Naz uh, boxed Peter Buckler. I right. think it was at ice rink in Car- Cardiff ice rink. I think right. it were. Right. Yeah. Well, I I give him my best and I nearly stopped him. Everybody, yeah. well, come to oh, yeah. If he gets through, if Nicky Piper does get through, because <clears throat> yeah. I was putting it on him. Yeah. <clears throat> but he got, you know, I got no. But I was gonna. No. I, I got this in my notes to ask you about this because because <clears throat> obviously I know you've worked and you have boxed. Which yeah. I know a lot of people does, but when you get to some fights that you have got to, that that is a plain, perfect example. Yeah. That. You're not job, you're not job, aren't yeah. you? Doing your, your work because it's yeah. a telecom you work. Yeah, with. telecom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you're doing your thing, yeah. and then next minute, boom, and then you're off to That's Cardiff. It. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, yeah. I mean that ain't ideal preparation for a fight, is it? But Did obviously you you, you you got away with it. But you have to just think, what would might have been different have yeah. two weeks prior? Knew yeah. you were boxing him. Had so many days off work to prepare for that. It's interesting. Yeah, because it, that guy when I box. When I won my first title, WBO title, yeah. got a day's notice yeah. for that as well. That yeah. was against Gary Delaney. Oh, yeah. I was working then, I had to like, get time off work that day, yeah. go and have a brain scan. Yeah. And then it was were, it were a week, I think it, that was a Thursday, so I had like two days notice yeah. or something like yeah. that. But it's like this anxiety thing, what I'm talking about, yeah. that were better for me. Yeah, because you didn't get too. I didn't. I didn't burst right. my own bubble. And and like we talked about earlier, is, and I've, I've heard a lot of trainers say this to fighters. He's too stiff. Relax. And yeah. Like you say, Brendan was saying that too, weren't it? So that's right. The anxiety makes you stiffer. And, yeah. And they also say yeah. that the more relaxed you are, the better you box. Like, yeah. you know, like Ali were yeah. very relaxed and stuff that's like it. that. So like you say, maybe then it did do some good by yeah. not knowing. Yeah. And not trying to relax too much yeah. because it would have stiffened you up more. Yeah, maybe. yeah, that hundred percent. Yeah, so it might have helped that. Hundred percent. Whereas, like I say, I look at some fighters now that's not really that up that ladder, and they don't seem to be. They're obviously, I know it's all social media and stuff, but they don't seem to be probably working. You know what I mean? And they've got, you know what I mean? And they're not particularly that good. And I think they're full time pros. Yeah. And they can imagine all yeah. they do is they're in gym, which is yeah. what you've got to be. Yeah. I can imagine they're not doing a twelve-hour shift or no. an eight-hour shift like no. you were doing, no. and especially on day at five. That's it. It's That's unheard it. of now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that it won't is. happen now. now. Won't no, happen. not really. I mean, like these this bill on in Sheffield tonight um, with undercard. Yeah. I bet some of them like, and there's one guy fighting there. There's a couple from Sheffield's making like the big, bigger name yeah. debuts. Yeah. They've been around, but yeah. first time TV. Yeah. I bet. I bet they am. I bet they're not working. No. No. It's a lot. It's changed, hasn't it? It has. I mean, yeah. social media. Yeah. Uh, when you see kids and they're getting like sponsored cars and stuff like that, yeah. and like they're selling 
like hundreds of tickets and yeah. they've got got it all set up on Facebook or uh, Instagram or whatever and I, th- I think to myself you know I've been, I've been to the last weeks of my training yeah. and chasing people around local boozers yeah. you know what I mean for for ticket money yeah. and like kids getting it running around and like yeah well, that's it. I mean, that's amazing that you had that to go into pubs and to sell yeah. tickets and stuff. That's it. I mean, like I said, again, we mentioned the social media thing. It's just like, so looking back at you, because I can tell you're a personality. I can imagine, uh, I mean, oh, you've got this anxiety thing now, but I can imagine more, were you more sociable when you were younger? Would you? I, I was like, can imagine now social media now? You think yeah. you would have been, I think you're a bit of a character, so you'd have probably yeah. come across well on social yeah. media. I, I think, think it'd be more like Dave Allen. Yeah, I'm yeah. just, just going to yeah. say Dave Allen. Dave, Dave, I've known Dave since he was, since we were a kid, you yeah. know what I mean? I used to spy with him. Yeah. I used to think, this guy, you know, he's going to do something. You know, yeah. when he was a bit of a teenager, yeah. you know what I mean? He could stand with me. Yeah. You know, back then, you know, yeah. and he'd stand and have a, he'd stand and have a good go. Yeah. But he's got that, Love the side to him, that personality and that, that, you know, everybody likes him and that. And I think that would have been more me, yeah. that, that side Yeah, well, that's what I think. Yeah. I think, like I say, I like Dave Allen. He, 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 he realised that he's never probably going to be a world heavyweight champion, yeah. but he does what he does well. Yeah. He's very likeable, isn't that's he? That's right. And yeah. he comes across well. And, and you yeah. think, well, I watch Dave Allen because he's just got that... Sound daft, that boy next door thing. Yeah, you that's know, you right. You can relate to that's him. That's right. Yeah. He's a lovely. Yeah. He don't. He, he don't load it over anybody. I've took. Uh, took. Uh, my man Russ down. Yeah, Russ. Who's, you know what I mean? Yeah. Day, yeah. Um, He's off camera looking at the kid. When am I yeah. getting on here? Like, we I mean? we we went down other week to Steffi Bull's gym and took him down there. Yeah. And that's the great thing um, about Russ. I, I introduced him to Dave, and Dave. Made him feel welcome yeah. and yeah. there was no pressure at all. No. You know what I mean? It, it was fantastic and it was just like I'd like seen him last week and I hadn't seen Dave for quite some time. Yeah. And we were back into old days, like having a good laugh and everything. Do you think with Dave, again, it's not, I'm not having a good day because I, I do really like him. Do you think yeah. Dave would have been better off fighting at a lower weight? And because obviously I know money's at every weight, do you think? I don't, I don't, I don't know, you know, I no. think he's, I think he, I think he could do it. I think yeah. Dave suffers a lot with um, with with his mind as well. Yeah, um, it comes across it, like that. Yeah, yeah, but is you know is it, with sim- I think with similar yeah with you kind right. of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I think Dave, oh, he's got a chin of iron. I, yeah. d- I don't think yeah. it, I don't think he'd have worked at Cruiser. The jump's too big. Yeah. You know what I mean. Tell you what, you and David have been a good fight back in there, though. Dave, you, you, Dave. oh you, yeah, that, I used to spar it, yeah. yeah. That yeah. that one would have been there. Uh, oh, no, you know what I mean. Yeah. That would be not for the faint heart. Yeah, that's that one, it. it. That's it. Both yeah. you two coming forward. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, big time. Yeah, but yeah. thought uh, you meant David A. Then I, no, sorry, I, I sparred, I sparred with you? David A. Yeah. yeah. What did you, uh, what do you think to David A? I'd, I'd, I never, I never hated him. Did to you? be fair, now. In what, in what sense? Because I, I just didn't think. And it and it got proved later on, yeah. to be honest. Um, probably out of boxing, he's probably a nice fella, like. Yeah. But yeah. in boxing, I thought he was just a bit of a, a bully character. Yeah. And uh, when I sparred him, it was just before he boxed Carl Thompson. Oh yeah. And, and I said, I it. said he's going to get beat. I yeah. says, and everybody's going. Carl's chin is yeah, he's yeah. gone. He's, he's gone. I'm saying, now Carl's Carl, Carl get through this. Yeah. Says because that kid's got no stamina. Mm. So when I sparred him. You know, you're blowing. Now I just went for him, oh. and like he, he was trying to knock me out. Yeah. He caught me with some cracking shots. Yeah. But he never like once I got through them shots, yeah. they called a halt to it. Right. Okay. And I thought it was only when it moved up to fourteen stone four, yeah. cruiser, that I thought at thirteen stone eight, I, I, I'd have fancied my chances. Yeah. At fourteen stone four, they were able to, you know, the, the six foot four and yeah. the. Uh, they filled out a lot more than Pull me. Pulled that size yeah. and into you. Mm. But yeah, I think where David is, like like you say, like obviously you walk through them shots and then yeah. it were like, oh shit, yeah. what's happening after that? Uh, Adam Booth su- supposedly said um, that they wouldn't have took the fight with me. No. So, no. I mean, I would have ended, I, would, yeah. I was sort of coming to, to twilight years of my career then yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, so... 
I think if we'd have met, you know what I mean, in like 2006-ish, 2005-2006, I think it'd have been a different... Well, the other thing I want to talk about is, which is now, I just talk about back, going back in, in your prime, nutrition. So, like, I know, so Bre Brendan were there, and then obviously Dominic were there. So, yeah. so towards your end, so Dominic, did Dominic become more main, more involved than when, Brendan? When I first started out with, with Bren, yeah. uh, Bren would make a lot of mistakes. Um, like, it, it were old, obviously old school. Yeah. So like when we we're trying to make way, yeah, like it'd, 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 it'd yeah. be like, don't go in the toilet, cheating. You're drinking the water. Don't, yeah. don't drink the water. You Proper know what I mean? School, so yeah. you weren't allowed to have water when you were training. Yeah, I drink, which is ridiculous. Yeah. But yeah. Brendan didn't know that. No, exactly. And before, because, uh, yeah. Before we fight, he'd take us to a cafe, yeah. and he's saying, have a big. Get this, get the big pie there. You'll <laughs> fight lions with that. So you'd have like Classic a big stodgy. Yeah. Um, carbs. Well, like, well, not, not even carbs. carbs. You, you, yeah, yeah, you'd have all. Shit, it's yeah, yeah, down, yeah. yeah, you had the, you had the stuff that were like they take it, it make you tired. You know what I mean? It's, it's like going back to footballs when you yeah. used to have this fry up thing. You yeah, know, that's like, you that's know. right. Yeah. I was going on, obviously Dominic's on point. Yeah, we, yeah on point, sure. and and it went till. Yeah. Um, Cause I have, I I've always had a good diet from my own, like. Um, yeah. I never used to eat crap, but I used to, I drunk every single fight. Yeah. Every single fight. Yeah. <laughs> there were only one fight I never drunk for, and that was. No, not during. <laughs> not during or after. Yeah. Or after. Right. I didn't drink after fight for twenty four hours. Okay. But Why coming up to, because I was scared. Right. Okay. Be because I'm an adult. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because of what happened to a fighter called Bradley Stone, yeah. Brendan drilled it into me, and I, I it don't take a lot for for something to get in my head, and then it frightens me forever. Yeah. yeah. So Brendan said, when when you've had a fight, your brain will swell. Right. So if you're drinking alcohol after you fall, yeah, your brain will swell up, and and you'll get dehydrated, and that's that's what happened yeah. with Bradley Stone. Right. I, I, apparently. Apparently, went home. Started drinking apparently, yeah. and that's you know it, it collapsed and right. he got that. So lead. so 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 Dominic came in and he did he start talking more nutrition and say look we need he tell he he set you the diet set but I was never far off no I was never far off thirteen stone eight and when it moved to fourteen stone four yeah. I I never walked about much of it no so I, I'd I'd walk about just just below fifteen stone yeah. So, so you, you got, made weight easy. You know, yeah, you I made weight. Down but even stuff. with drinking. Yeah. So like, like I say, every every fight apart from the Terry Dunstan fight, my first British title fight, yeah. I stopped drinking for that fight. And I didn't drink for six weeks, right. and it and it and it killed me. Right. It killed me. Yeah. Because my body weren't used no, to it. No, exactly. Because I didn't used to drinking. Mentally, I I went right in my head, yeah. and 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 I weren't getting that. Because obviously you get carbs through, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and yeah, I you get carbs through, through alcohol. Yeah. 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 I went yeah. absolutely knackered all the time thinking, Someone's not ready. Someone's not ready. I need yeah. a drink. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. But, but every other fight, it's like the Guy Delaney fight, I went 12 rounds. Yeah, I had a couple of days notice. I, I, I'd, I'd been out every night, yeah. you know, before it. So, so we, I knew what my body could do. I drank quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which is no good for you. I don't condone it. No. Uh, and it's 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 a terrible way to be. But yeah. I knew how to. I knew what I could do on. You know what I mean. Yeah. I I could have. I could go out and have. I don't know ten pints and then, do the next day. You know. In, in do do. Yeah. yeah and outwork it, it, people. It didn't phase you. It didn't phase me no. at all. Never no. got hangover. Never never no. I, never do get hangover. No. no. Never. I'm still now. Never. No. Some people like uh, that though, yeah. don't they? They just, you know what I mean. So, so, so Dominic, because I know Dominic's Dominic hates me drinking. Yeah, because Dominic's like early stuff is bodybuilding, nutrition, and that's right. I think he's got a book coming out on nutrition, yeah. hasn't he? So, it, so it, did he work a lot on that with you? I'm Dom not saying it, it, it benefited you, but that Dominic it did benefit it, me. It it did, 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 right. But Dominic got me in some great conditions. Yeah, because yeah. at the end of the prize fight, fight, he yeah. turned on and go. Yeah. 
this is to Dom. Yeah. Because she's paying because yeah, then, exactly. I thought, then I thought, is that yeah. because of that? Yeah. He'd Did keep he... an eye on me so... and he'd tape his stuff. Yeah. Obviously, um, he'd, know I, he'd know I were drinking, although he, yeah. he went, yeah, what are you doing? Do not. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he'd taper my diet around that, obviously. Yeah. Because he, he knew. And I'd always, I was scared of upsetting Dom. Yeah. Um, yeah, because you respected yeah. me. You don't want to, yeah. So, I'd, if if I if I didn't have that thing with drink, yeah. you know what I mean, and I could control it, yeah. um, in a different way, I'd have probably, uh, who knows, who knows what yeah. I fit would be. Yeah. But I felt f- like it, like if you were to you fight, won't, I could you, 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 stop anyway. you, won't, you won't change out yeah. there, would you? No. You've, you've, I mean, you almost look back and and and, and you must think you had some great times, didn't you? Yeah, had all some that. fantastic like times. Yeah, what, you've got life over. experience, isn't it? South Africa, yeah. all over German, Germany, France, yeah. Belgium, yeah. Holland, yeah. Um, being on Canada, TV and all. Yeah. I mean, now yeah. we're doing this, everybody's on YouTube and all that. Yeah. To be on TV in the 90s and all that yeah. were a big deal, weren't it? You oh, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Even even when I first got to um, my name in paper and stuff like that, it was, like, at first I, I absolutely loved it, you know yeah. what I mean? And well, I want to ask you, where did, where's Buster come from then? Well, I, my name's John Keaton. Right. So from being born. Yeah. So uh, is it the parents? I, I'm thinking, was it was it Brendan's do, thing do, that, do, to do, use it with a? No, Brendan. Brendan never come up with Buster. Right. And that that's that's truth. He yeah. he, he wanna he, he he said that I, sh- I should come out as Frankenstein because I'm too stiff. Right. Okay. He says I'm gonna get some balls made for your neck, look like Frankenstein. Yeah. Says you ugly bastard. I, I tell you what, if I need anybody <laughs> in one of my films to play Brendan <laughs> with a voice, I'm yeah. using this voice. <laughs> I'm going to have to. I did sing. it. I did it at his tribute. Okay. Um, I did it, and yeah. they, they asked me to sing and yeah. write a load of quotes down. And I did a load of quotes yeah. for him, um, and 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 wrote wrote it out, and they put it on YouTube, I think. Right. Because the reason why I sh- reason why I asked you that is because somebody asked me who knows you well. Yeah. Says. Asking, because a lot of the fires in Brenda's have got them weird names, Fidel Castro, yeah, Smith, yeah, and yeah. Oh, they were, they were, yeah. and I just wondered if yeah. Brendan might yeah. have Slugger been. Slugger O'Toole. Slugger O'Toole, yeah. Yeah, that was Fidel, Fidel Castro Smith is Fidel's name. Right. That's his proper name. Oh, is it? Right. Yeah, because his dad had the thing about Fidel Castro. Oh, okay. So Fidel's name is Fidel Castro Smith. Yeah. But Brendan made him have Slugger O'Toole. Right, okay. So somebody who, if you, if, if, so little at all, what's yeah. that bring to mind? Little, yeah. little Irish kid. Yeah. But Brendan did that yeah. for it's like Paddy Riley. Yeah. Clifton Mitchell. Yeah. Big. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like I said. So Slugger O'Toole yeah. was Fidel Castro Smith. Right. But they were rated at one time in the British ratings together. Yeah. They were the same person. Right, okay. So Brendan used to confuse everybody. Right. Johnny Nelson, the yeah. entertainer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, but obviously, with, with me being Keaton, yeah, at, like at work from day one, I was called Buster, yeah, and then like even when I was born, the day I was born, there was somebody called Keating in hospital. My mum said, and when I was born, they said, "Oh, we got the proper bus, the proper Busters here now, yeah, because yeah. it was Keaton, yeah, yeah." So yeah. I've always been. Ke- Buster. Yeah. But what I'm saying, it works, it worked nice, wouldn't you? Yeah, with the, it with works. The boxing yeah, thing, yeah, the name, yeah, 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 that's it. it. it like nice. I said, it Brendan, Brendan wanted to call me Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, uh, that wanted to work. Yeah, and Buster. then, uh, obviously, yeah. um, obviously, everybody called me Buster, but Brendan used to call me Keto. Yeah. He used to call me Keto, and, yeah. and like, Dominic calls me Keto, and, and John Ingle calls me Ke- Keto. Yeah. yeah. So... But, Right, so yeah. I'm going to mention if so, so. Obviously, I don't know if you keep in contact with Nas still. So, uh, have you got like good Nas? What's the good? Are you told about? I've got a good Nas. So, because you obviously you were around that, were you? Me I and mean, Nas, me, yeah. I, I've known Nas. Yeah. Well, when, when did when did Bruce Springsteen play it? Oh yeah, Sheffield the kid. Yeah, right? one at eighty-seven, something like that. Have a look. Well, yeah, he's going to eighty-seven, eighty-eight. Yeah. Me, Nazim, and Tom Bradley. We're down on bait and tip, uh, and we were like, ah, listening. What's that? I remember that night. Yeah, because I, I lived at Swollen Nest. Yeah, we could hear, we it, could hear it. Yeah, 1988. 88. 88. Yeah. So we 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 were knocking about with Naz. Yeah. 
Naz looks like someone off East is East with his parking on. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I love that film. And we, were, great, just, we were just knocking about on BMXs, Naz, Naz couldn't afford one. Mm. So he'd come on bus and we'd like take him back his. Yeah. And me and Tom Bradley. And that's a, that, that's a Naz I knew. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And he was so polite, so everything. And then he did, did, did great in amateurs, turned pro. Um, yeah. he, he was smashing it. He was like, you could see Brendan, Brendan actually nurturing him like Customado and Tyson. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's where, that's that, where his baby. Yeah, they got that thing going on. He up. got his first car. Can you remember him getting his first car from um, down at bottom of Granville Road? Well, that's Suzuki, where it? That, no. no what his, that? Fir- his very first car, yeah. what he got was a uh, Peugeot right. 205. GTI. Oh, I'm GTI. Yeah. What, one um, nine or one six? It was one six. All right, yeah. He parked nice outside gym, and he had guess how long he had that car for? Not even a night, because Brendan went absolutely spare. Got onto what well, DC Cooks at Yeah, DC Cooks. Yeah, yeah. got onto him. Yeah. And made him change it. So Naz were like buzzing. Wait, two flash oil. He's gonna kill himself. He's gonna kill himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he comes back with his mini metro. Because cause them cars at the time were all touch, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. At that yeah. time, yeah. He'd come back with his Mini Metro and... Uh, <laughs> Bit of difference. Yeah. So... <laughs> I bet he went mad, didn't he? Like oh, Naz na- were gutted. Yeah, yeah. Naz were gutted. And yeah, he yeah. had that Mini Metro yeah. and he caused so much hassle with that. And they set the, and then his his next car, were a, I think it was a 4 before Jeep. Mm. That's what yeah. I used to see him in. Yeah, that 4 be like a, a Diet Soul Jeep or something. Yeah. And then and then Frank Warren got him a Alfa Romeo Spider, right. and then it just went it went just blew up Porsche nine control. eleven. Yeah. He used to lend me lend me that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Not a bad like you say. I mean, because you obviously around that. I mean, it must have been. He I, used to I'd borrow my own see, cars. Yeah, I bet it went till it? it went till he started getting silly money. Yeah. And he like changed right. for me. Yeah. For me. Yeah. It'd be a bit arrogant and, right. and a bit. What even when you were nasty. as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it it's just bit, it's crazy, isn't it? I don't. It know. Just changed. I mean, it. I've never had that money that Naz has had, but I just yeah. think I would hate to change that much. People who slag him down don't realise how much money he got fast. Yeah, he did. Too, and it, too quick, weren't it? And it and it sort of changed him. Yeah, I always feel with Naz, he were a millionaire before a world champion, weren't he? Yeah. And that's yeah. where I think were the downfall. I remember him yeah. boxing. For titles, and yeah. I think well, he's got he's got probably got three mil already. Yeah. So it, it, it must be nothing. Yeah. Talk about yeah. the pajamas yeah. thing that must have. Cause see, I mean you must have saw that. Did he just stop coming in gym more? Yeah. yeah it, it was with Brendan when they obviously had a. Four yeah, mil, yeah. It was just I don't know. It, it just. I suppose he didn't want to He didn't want to. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't have. He didn't have the same time for you or. No. You know. And then obviously that. I saw him at Tom's funeral. I think, uh, was that the last time I saw him? And uh, obviously, I was, was, you know, there were no animosity. No, no, no. We, go back we hugged each other and everything. And yeah. It was, yeah. it was sound. I, I just, I feel sorry for him in a way from yeah. for what happened with him and Brendan because yeah. Brendan told him all along. Yeah, he did. What he did. what happened with him and Errol? Yeah, yeah, you know it was I mean? very similar, weren't it? I, I'm with... perhaps, I, I'm. I've just always been loyal, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I could have gone to Dennis, yeah, uh, I'm a good friend of Dennis, yeah, and they yeah. were in the same sort of village, Stone Lane were in my yeah. village. Yeah, yeah. Could have gone to him, but because I went to Brendan, yeah. I went Brendan. Yeah. You know, there's times when I think, would I have been better off with Dennis? Yeah. Like yeah. like Clinton. Yeah. So, yeah, Clinton, yeah. So, what about Johnny Nelson? Got good memories with Johnny Nelson? Yeah, yeah, Johnny's a friend to this day, yeah. friend for life. We don't we don't talk much now because no. he's always busy. Yeah, he's. Well, I went to his too. wedding in Jamaica. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I got a lot of respect for him. I, I sparred for him for. I'm just going to say, I've been sparred a lot of rounds. I sparred you? thousands of rounds with him. Yeah, I bet Probably yeah. hit him twice in face. <laughs> twice? Uh, yeah. How many times did he hit you in yeah. face? Oh, God. As no. he's moving back yeah. out of range. That's right. Yeah, but I mean, I mean yeah. do you get a bit frustrated sometimes thinking, well, I just want to catch him more? No, I, no, because I knew, I just I just used to put him under pressure all, all the time. If yeah. they sent me. Uh, yeah. Sent me at him constantly. Yeah. But that was the thing about you, as well, especially for a sparring partner with Johnny. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't get anybody better than you that were coming right. at him. If, if, and if he could 
control you from rage yeah. in sparring. Yeah. Surely to God when he were gonna when he were gonna fight, you know what I mean? Yeah. He were gonna he weren't gonna he weren't gonna get that intensity, were he, with some it. fighters? No. So no, it, great he always said that, he said the the spanning the yeah. spanning was harder than the fights. Yeah. Um, yeah, because you were you were you were on constantly him. on him. So now we're going to talk to the future. So yes. We're going to bring your man Russ in. Yes. So we're going to have to move up because he's a big lad. <laughs> just check, man, make sure we're on for all them shot. <laughs> we just move back. Nice to meet you, pal. Nice to meet you. We've talked obviously off camera, but obviously yeah. for the audience. Is he in, is he in ring, Russ? Yeah, he's in. Cool. Yeah. So, right, let's talk about how you two know each other first. Obviously, you're a fighter, but obviously, how did you two meet? Well, I, I, he, he came to the gym. Well, I was training at a weight gym called Evo Gym at Mosbro, yeah. and uh, one day this like he was only about twenty one, yeah. uh, young kid. Where he would him and his mate, um, uh, forget his name. What was his name? Oh, Martin. Yeah, Martin. Yeah. And uh, Martin and uh, Russ walked in. I thought, Jesus, he's he's a big lad. So I started training. Yeah, phenomenal shape, and um, I just I, I just had crack with him straight away. Yeah. And um, it went for well, it was a couple of months, weren't it, of yeah, training? Yeah, yeah. And we started talking about boxing. Yeah. And uh, Russ explained to me that his his real love weren't bodybuilding; it was boxing. Yeah, yeah. And then we just went from there. Yeah. Um, Did you know who he was then? No, to no. be fair, not. No, really. you didn't know he, what just, he'd done. No, no, uh, no. There were there were pictures of him in yeah. the gym. Yeah. Um, that the people that had been in competitions or boxers that are, yeah. that sort of the John Clark who owns the gym has had sort of involvement with yeah. there were pictures on the wall so yeah. I knew that he were a boxer but I yeah. didn't know the, the extent of sort yeah, of what, what he'd achieved what, he, what he'd done yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then a couple of funny funny sort of incidents at gym um, and knowing him now yeah putting makes him, sense it makes sense and it's, yeah. it's funny to look back and, and look at it he turned up in um, he bought a, an Audi S5 um new car yeah so i said oh that looks nice uh, let's have a go yeah so <laughs> like naz do real yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. he was like yeah all right yeah i'll come i'll come with you <laughs> so yeah. he got in car uh yeah. and straight away i just floored it yeah. Yeah. and knowing him now he's a yeah. paranoid passenger yeah, he holds yeah. on and yeah, yeah like he loves his car yeah, he's yeah, into yeah. his car so yeah. I didn't know all this, yeah, so yeah. I'm just thrashing his car around, yeah. around Moss, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm, no, like say, what hanging you, on. Yeah, what you've told you yeah. now, I'd be like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. hanging yeah. on, I yeah. wanted to get in glove box. Yeah. Yeah. Like they say, yeah. bad anxiety and stuff yeah. like that, yeah. just, just doesn't help. Yeah. So like you say, uh, we said like beforehand when we met in coffee, uh, coffee shop, so you sort of, gel, you think you gelled because of that a bit, didn't you? You sort of, you've, yeah, you you, he's helped you a bit out. The, the first, the, the first thing we we Ross, what 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 I always remember is when he came up to me excited. I mean, what 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 kid will you tell me? Like comes up to you and he says, "I'm buying an house. I'm buying an house." Yeah. And I'm like, "Good on you. Yeah. That that's brilliant. Yeah. That's brilliant." Yeah. And that's what that that um, what can you say? That the ambition, the, the ambition in him and the, yeah. the enthusiasm. And and I was took back by that, and and he, and then like I say, a couple of months later, he says I bought another house. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, oh, hang on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. And I thought this kid's got. Yeah. You know. So obviously, you you boxed before, then didn't you? and then you were yeah. bodybuilding. Yeah. And then obviously you met John, and then obviously that brought the boxing mark. So we're what stage you at now, and where you're trying to go with this then between yourselves? The stage we're at now is 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 down at the Ingle Gym. Um, but which it's difficult to get him sparring, because right. um, he's a big lad. Yeah, you know so what I mean. What, what do you wear then? Uh, currently, I'm wearing roughly around eighteen stone, right, but I've, I've dropped massively. I've, I've like yeah. generally twenty, 20, 20 stone. Yeah. So yeah. in the last say, three years, I've come down yeah. like I said five. So stone. Would, what, what what's how tall are you? I'm six foot four. Right, so yeah, so again, you good height and good size for obviously that weight. It's phenomenally you? fit as well. Yeah. We do um, where every Tuesday we do as uh, it's part of his training routine. Yeah. He does a, a set of sprints um, down at Pure Gym. We have to go there because it's only treadmills that'll take his weight. <laughs> Burns them out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and he does it. like three sets Man. of um, a twelve sprints, and the pace is. Yeah. is unreal yeah. and he can talk all the way through him now yeah. 
You know what I mean? His fitness, his is, fitness is un, yeah. unreal. It's yeah. just the experience. Yeah. What he needs. He's con- what what I know about the thing about Russ is what I've always found from that day one. If he says he's gonna do something, yeah, he he's gonna do it. It's like he were in phenomenal shape at twenty stone. Yeah. He were massive. Yeah. And like he says, I want a box. Yeah. I won't let you down. No. And it, it it basically does everything I I, yeah. I, I say. Yeah, you oh. so genetically you think gifted were you big lad? Yeah, my dad on my dad's parents. side, yeah, he's, yeah, he were a big yeah. bloke, he was yeah. like six foot four again, yeah. sort of heavy set bloke. Yeah. Um, so Which, my genetics and my sister's yeah. quite big as well, yeah. she's six foot so What about athleticism? Uh, yeah, again, yeah. Uh, yeah. my dad like, in good shape. Yeah. Uh, my sister used to play foot, uh, football, semi yeah. professional and professional for England yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. Again, it's. Um, yeah. I've never been that bothered about football because no. it's just it's not not, you. not me. Um, I started boxing at about thirteen. Yeah. I used to go to Dennis Hobson's gym. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it weren't Dennis sort of that were in, involved in it. They were amateur gym. Yeah. So it were a bloke called a trainer called Sean Thicket. Right. Who it were called South Yorkshire Boxing Academy. I think right. it were called then. Yeah. Um, so I used to go there Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I would do weights like Tuesday, yeah. Thursday, yeah. and then even on a Sunday. Uh, I'd help Sean uh, do like a youth club session yeah. and then Sean would spend a bit of time with me on my own. Yeah. Um, so that sort of got me basics of, of boxing yeah. and, and just yeah. general, really. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big believer in genetics and I'm big, bit obviously hard work, but like you say, you've some people just got it, aren't they? I think if you've got yeah. that natural talent and then you get meet somebody like yourself who's yeah. been around it and you can mm. show somebody and pass it on, you, you, you can, it's amazing That's where you right. can go it into it. That's right. You know what I mean? Definite. So, you've, so I think you said to me earlier, so you're going to go start with some amateur fights? Yeah. Uh, again, I just, like Buster said, I need to get that experience. My fitness is, is coming along yeah. like in, in sort of sync with everything else and how my body's yeah. dropping in size yeah. and to the right shape of, of a boxer. Yeah, yeah. It's just the uh, the experience I need and it is hard to get people to spar yeah. that they look at me and think, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? They, they might not even see, see me box or anything, yeah. but just yeah. looking aesthetically at me, yeah. they don't want to no. don't want to spar. So it is hard and like yeah. I said, we've been up to Doncaster a couple of weeks ago yeah. and yeah. Dave Allen's training a Scottish yeah. Uh, heavyweight at the minute yeah. is fighting at Doncaster oh, Dome. I think yeah. it's yeah. in two weeks' time. Yeah. Uh, Jay McFarlane. Right. Yeah. So I sparred with, went up to Doncaster. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Buster obviously sorted it with yeah. Dave for yeah. me to go up. Yeah. Uh, again, walked into a gym. Mm. I don't know anyone. Yeah. Didn't even know where changing rooms were. Yeah. Sort of put my bag down, got ready. We in ten five mm. minutes, jumped straight in ring. Yeah. 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 And sparred yeah. with, with pros had ten yeah. fights. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get knocked down. No, yeah. I didn't get knocked out. No, yeah. No. So yeah, exactly. See, that's the difference. I couldn't have done that. Yeah. I remember back. I, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Yeah. Um, because I'd 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 have thought about what could have happened you before. Know, taught you, you know what I mean? taught yourself out. Yeah, yeah. that's. Yeah. I mean, I did it with David A. Yeah. Yeah, I went in on my own and, and sparred with David A. Yeah. I went uh, went over to France. Um, to spar with a guy called Fabrice Tayozo, yeah. but I said to him the courage that took to yeah. go into a oh, gym yeah. when he had the fights, no. and that's the difference between his mind. Yeah, and what but mine's. that again to me says a lot about you because that you can do that. Because if you've not got that fear thing to do that, mm. that, that helps, doesn't it? You know yeah. What I mean? yeah. So yeah. yeah, so like you're just gonna just gonna see what happens and then take it from there, aren't you? That's right. I want initially. Initially, because um, I've seen it before, but a long time ago, like 20 odd years ago, I wanted him to turn straight pro. Yeah. But yeah. after looking at it and speaking with different people, he said he needs, he needs, you know, a few amateur fights. It's not like it used to be. Do you know? Do you know? Also, I'm mean, we'll bring AJ up now. Do you know? Like looking at, I mean, I love AJ. I think he's great. But then you sometimes see that he ain't got that. Does that pedigree? You know, it's like, yeah. you know, it's like, like Tyson Fury ties yeah. someone up. Yeah. He's just got it from being that big. Yeah, that's right. And sometimes the age you don't do yeah. that and you think, yeah. you know, it's learning that. That's it? right. You've got to learn that. Yeah. You've got to learn. And that don't, yeah. it's not something you can really learn overnight. No, you? no, you've got to. So it's, it's it takes learning. a lot of experience, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, even with Lennox Lewis, when you look at him in yeah. early days, yeah. till he went to, you know, Changed his trainers and went to a Stewart. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. his his style sort of progressed from then. Yeah, he were a bit wooden, weren't he at yeah. first? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like you saying, I think sparring and put pushing 
put him in them situations yeah. will 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 bring it. That's it's it. experience, isn't yeah. it? It is experience. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And like I've been when I've been at Ingalls Gym uh, and so they've they've got a cruiserweight down there. Yeah. Eve, um and Dom set up sparring with him yeah. uh, and mm-hmm. another cruiserweight that came over from Belgium. Yeah. And I did a few rounds with them. Yeah. Uh, again, I got knocked down in that, yeah. which was a good experience because yeah, exactly. You've got because uh, you might have to come off canvas sometimes. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, I, got, I got knocked down. I, yeah. got, I got straight back up. Yeah. The thing is, what mm-hmm. I did is I jumped straight back up. Yeah. Which Dom said straight away, yeah. don't don't ever yeah. do that. No. But it's take, take, take your time. Right. Take yeah. your time. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. But again, I wouldn't have known that. No. If I'd have just had a fight, yeah, so yeah. them them bits of experience, that sparring, sparring with these pros, mm. it, it's it's sort of pain for learning. I, yeah, I see that's it, as, it. Yeah. and it's just I have to go in there yeah. and and be the be the person to sort of take them shots and get that experience. Otherwise, but, I'm not going to learn. But just talking to you, you can tell you've got it upstairs to you know to, to talk about. I'm again I'm not being disrespectful to certain fighters. I think yeah. if you've got that and everything else, you know what I mean. You can analyse and think about things because. There's some fighters, like you say, you could tell them all day long to, to take a knee yeah. and, and wait for seven or eight before you get up, but they yeah. just don't naturally do it, no. some people. Yeah. So I think when you analyse it... Said, ben and Yusuf Mekis do that. Yeah. He used to, he used to train us to do it. Yeah. Oh, it's a, um, you know, it, it, it put us in that position where it's a right, you've been knocked down, it oh. says, show me what you do. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Shows all tricks. I bet you were like, I'll never get knocked down. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I went. No. I always... Uh... They used to do that, th- I've seen old videos from the 90s, they used to do that thing with talking, uh, sorry, with singing. Did yes, you have to, red did and you have yellow. To do that? Yeah, did stand, stand up stand... in the middle of the ring. Yeah. Wait till Jim would pipe, right? Yeah. Everybody out, right? Yeah. Keto, get in. Yeah. Sing us a song. Yeah, uh, yeah. Red and yellow and pink <laughs> and green. Shadow box, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But that that's so clever though to build confidence. To build confidence, it, yeah. You know, to to do that. That's it. Yeah. I mean, again, it's the psychology behind that yeah. to get people to be more comfortable. Yeah. And doing exactly. and doing stuff. So, like yeah. I said, going back to Brendan, he was just, it was before his time, really, weren't it? With 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 his, with his methods. Obviously, but, like you say, the yeah. nutrition side, what you said, that yeah. obviously towards the end we're exactly. catching up with him. Exactly. But, but the yeah. old the old stuff. Yeah. So the the, the old. The, the ways of training and everything, the old school. He, he would have, he yeah. was the one. What about weights and stuff? Because I know you do more weights. He didn't, now. He didn't, he didn't like us doing that, weights. He? No. he didn't like us doing it. He, that would dominate as yeah. well. Yeah. You know. Did he, he push more of that? Yeah, weight yeah, too? yeah, yeah. My strength doubled when I yeah. started doing weights. Yeah. Well, I mean, Evander Holyfield one of one of the first advocates mm. to 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 the weight thing, and I, I watched podcasts recently where Lee and he makes it ex Mr Olympia yeah. were the one they brought in to yeah. show Avanda to get yeah. him from light heavy yeah. light heavy weren't they? Light it, it heavy to cruise away. Right? Yeah, it was cruise to, to heavyweight yeah. and he put that size on, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, which right, which yeah. obviously did and he was the first one and then yeah. after that more yeah. started to come that's in so it. obviously Dominic's it. doing it doing it right, doing it. weights right in a yeah. in a different way. It's like when Russ like with twenty storm, yeah. you know, bench pressing like four plates. Yeah. You know, for reps and yeah. stuff like that, and yeah. like heavy squats and stuff, you don't you no. don't need to be doing that. No. Just but that's the good thing about you is you've got that foundation with that. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's like you talk about fast twitch muscle yeah, fibers, yeah. slow twitch. That's you've it. got all that, haven't you? Yeah, you've yeah. already so you're you, in a way you do it all the way around. Yeah, yeah. Fight, like yourself, it's been an hard transition. Yeah, my, my my transition were easier doing weights after when I'd retired. Yeah, that's the easiest one. Yeah. The transition back from weights. To the boxing physique to get that athletic athleticism yeah. is hard because it's hard for him. He's got that much weight on his shoulders, yeah, you know. Just checking time. Yeah. It's cool. So his his shoulders yeah. get tired. Yeah. He's just got to burn yeah, through it. Because I mean, again, like yeah. perfect example. I'm a bodybuilder, not your mm. size, but. I was I used to box me a brother and he used to be look at you look yeah. at you and then straight away after two rounds yeah. and were dropping yeah. just because you train shoulders ever yeah. Yeah. in gym like yeah. I was training yeah. and and he said and I remember I had six months out of the weights yeah. right lost a bit of size but that went and me, I boxed a bit with my brother and he went oh my god I can't believe the difference because yeah. I were too stiff yeah. and like I said it's it's yeah. doing the weight training yeah. isn't it 
but not training past failure. Do you yeah, see, is that what you it. do now? Yeah, sort of do sort of specific movements. It's like well, it's strength and conditioning. That's what it, it yeah. is now. So yeah. it's doing movements uh, that you would use in boxing, yeah. but with weights yeah. or circuits that yeah. that'll sort of intensify that muscle that you're yeah. going to use yeah. in in a boxing ring yeah. like, with your shoulders like yeah. intensity and stuff like that. Yeah. There's no good. Been able to lift heavy no, weights. I, 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 I was never ever strong, but I was I was trained to failure, yeah. drop sets. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Come on, another one, and I was stiff, yeah. and then I was trying to box. And yeah. I was just like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's getting that happy me. You've, yeah. you've got to yeah. relax. You've got yeah. to relax. So what about nutrition yeah. then? Are you being... Nutrition again. Yeah. I've I've done a lot of bodybuilding competition, so right. yeah, my nutrition know. knowledge is is pretty good. To be fair, yeah. I've I've always ate clean. I still do now. Yeah. I don't I don't smoke. I don't take drugs. Yeah. I don't drink. Yeah. Uh, I drink yeah. water. That's all I drink, yeah. and like yeah. I said, I've had the same similar diet for the last yeah. few years. I've had to obviously change it for boxing. Yeah. Uh, in terms of carbs and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, less what well, less carbs. Uh, I'd say yeah. It started just, just off. Just get some of that weight like yeah. bulk off. Yeah, because yeah. at minute it sort of I need enough carbs just to fill my workouts. I don't want to sort of have any more to put me any weight on because I'm trying to come down and yeah. it's easy to for me it's easy to get rid of fat. Yeah. But it's it's so hard to burn muscle off that you've yeah. you've built over a yeah, decade yeah. because it's it's your natural yeah. muscle that yeah. they say it's your foundation of your body mm. to bring it down and sort of burn it out mm. to, to reduce your size is hard work. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have that problem. It yeah. 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 It's nice being that yeah. same. But like I say, so yeah, like I say, so genetically yeah. you've just got to keep doing what you're doing. You? You've yeah. got them foundations. It's a funny relationship because you don't drink at all. Yeah. 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 The odd couple. Been to, uh, yeah. been you just drink for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's you it. Just drink for oh, I've had. He's giving me some right tellings off. It's yeah. like opposite way around. Yeah. You think he would hold the head. <laughs> yeah. Get on with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you still remind me of one of my old friends. Actually, just senior mannerisms, everything. No, yeah. good, a uh, good yeah. thing. But yeah, very similar. Yeah. He, he liked to drink as well. Yeah. But uh, we're running out of time. So yeah. I'd, uh, to be Should honest, I've, I'm not. I'm, he'd probably say, "Oh, he says that too." I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And I think yeah. I'd like to do another one in future because I think like no like you and Glenn and yeah. somebody else you know what yeah, I mean yeah. and just get a bit of yeah. a or somebody else from yeah. uh, I don't know Dave Allen yeah, yeah, yeah. you Glenn and Dave yeah, Allen or yeah. something yeah. like that and just talk about <laughs> you and you yeah. you know what I mean but yeah, it's been nice to meet you and I, I yeah. wish you all the best in the future. Yeah, future. After having back when he's had his first fight. Oh, well, that's for me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. He'll yeah. probably, I'll be like, can you can I, can I get yeah, it? He's yeah. like, no, he's big time. Like, yeah. <laughs> you don't yeah. want to know now. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah forget <laughs> about him. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah. well, that's been good. So uh, we'll get some photos if we can. Yeah. Are we all right? Yeah, yeah all good.